What industry is harming the planet the most when it comes to the climate crisis? It's the real estate industry. So when you think about climate change, what are the industries you think about? Like what are the most important industries and the most contributive industries when it comes to solving the climate crisis? One, I think about the plastics industry and heavy manufacturing and all of these materials and factories that are spewing out of these plants. I also think about cars and all of these cars on all of these highways that are spewing out emissions. And we've heard a lot about how the cattle industry is actually contributing to climate change. But counterintuitively, none of those industries is the biggest culprit. Guess what is? The real estate industry. The real estate industry is the single biggest contributor to climate change. And that's with respect both to CO2 emissions, electricity consumption, and raw materials consumption. So how is it even possible that the real estate industry is more contributive to climate change than, for example, the transportation industry? Well, there's two ways. One is operational carbon, and the second is embodied carbon. Operational carbon is the carbon that's required, the energy that's required, to have functioning buildings and functioning homes. We heat them, we cool them, we light them, we move people and things around them. All of that takes energy. And you're probably familiar with operational carbon. It's a little more intuitive. Look at a building and you see it spewing out steam. It's kind of obvious that it's taking energy to operate that building. What embodied carbon is, is all of the materials that it took to build that building. All the energy it took to get those materials to the site, all the materials we threw away and disposed of in the process of building that building. It's the carbon footprint of everything around us just to build it in the first place. But the interesting, the kind of non-intuitive thing about embodied carbon is that it's still there even though you can't see it. And its impact is profound. You would expect that, correspondingly, the real estate industry would be investing a lot to mitigate its outsized impact on the climate crisis. But the somewhat depressing thing is that historically it hasn't. If you look at the last 10 years for the entire real estate industry, the real estate industry has invested a combined $100 million in mitigating the climate crisis. That's less than the value of some parking garages. Even if you took all of the best technology we have today and you integrated all of it, you would still only get about halfway towards operational carbon zero. So there's a huge amount of capital that needs to pour into climate tech R&D to reduce the real estate industry's operational and embodied carbon footprint that's not happening. So on the one hand, there's real ethical reasons why we should be investing into the climate tech, but there's also good business and commercial reasons to do so. If you have a building, and that building is flooded or goes underwater, it loses all of its value. An enormous amount of real estate is at risk because of climate change right now. Capital markets, the lenders, the equity investors, the insurance companies have said that they will preferentially give money to low or no carbon footprint real estate. Also, regulators are now saying they're going to tax inefficient real estate. What we did is we went out to the industry we identified the most forward-looking, most environmentally progressive real estate firms. And we said, contribute capital to a fund where together we're gonna pool all of those resources, all that knowledge, all that learning together, identify the best solutions that are gonna help you, real estate companies, get to operational carbon zero. The key unlock here is that very similar to what we as Fifth Wall saw in you know, 2016, 2017, was that this industry wanted to deploy prop tech, they just didn't necessarily know how to. Uh, we're at almost exactly that same stage now with climate tech, which is our corporate partners and real estate firms understand that they should be doing something here, they just don't know what. And that's where the fifth wall consortium model is hyper valuable because it effectively means that we're looking at those thousands of companies, we're sorting through them, separating the wheat from the chaff, and then we can build those roadmaps for people to show them exactly what to do.
at the end of the day, our real estate corporates, they want to be running their buildings and building their buildings. They don't uh, have the time to go and sort through hundreds of startups and figure out the good ones from the bad ones. Fifth Wall brings with it the real estate expertise. So we can lean on the internal existing real estate expertise and then go and find the best investors inside climate tech. So what is this fund going to invest in? Well, it's going to invest very broadly with a mandate to decarbonize the real estate industry. And there's a bunch of stages around building and maintaining assets that we're going to invest in. The material stage, the building and construction stage, the operational stage, actually having a functioning building. And then what no one likes to talk about, the end of life stage. We have to get rid of that building and build something new. All of that we're going to invest in. And then what are the kinds of technologies that we're investing in? Well, it's everything that has an imperative to decarbonize the real estate industry. So that could mean renewable energy, energy storage, industrial IoT, smart building technology that can make these buildings more efficient and reduce their energy consumption. Why are we so excited about this idea? And why should the real estate industry be so excited about this idea? Well, one, this is the right thing to do for the economy, for the world, for the real estate industry specifically. On the one hand, some of these stats can be very depressing, but at the same time, Fifth Wall's Climate Tech Fund is about to put a half billion dollars into new technologies that can actually mitigate this crisis. That's five times the amount the whole real estate industry has historically invested into climate tech. I think that's inspiring. It's a small step, but it's an important step. And I think we at Fifth Wall, all of our corporate partners that have invested in our funds should be excited about the prospects of what this might bring to the real estate industry.